Today we're going to talk about our place value system. Our place value system is based on powers of 10. So on the teacher's side, which is the right side of your journal, we're going to start our notes on place value. So as I just said, that our number system is based on powers of 10. What this means is that every time we multiply by 10, our numbers grow. Every time we get, when we're counting, when we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, our numbers grow to 10. And so you can see this happen on a calculator. So I'm going to switch over to a calculator. If I start with the number 1 and I multiply by 10, watch what happens to my 1. It grew from just being 1 to a 10. Now watch when I multiply by 10 again. What do you think is going to happen? It turns into a 100. Multiply by 10 again. It turns into a 1,000. If you notice, our numbers are growing from the right to the left, so it's getting bigger. That 1 just moved over places, didn't it? Even though we read numbers uh, left to right, our numbers actually grow right to left when we're talking about whole numbers. So, we're going to be dealing with whole numbers for the next few videos. And whole numbers are counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Like I just said, we read numbers from left to right. But based on our powers of 10, our numbers, our whole numbers, grow from right to left. And you can see that happen again if you replay the video and watch the calculator. And you can even get a calculator out and just do that. Just start with 1, multiply by 10, and just keep doing that, keep doing that, and keep doing that. Okay, so another thing to remember about our place value system is that we should be able to read numbers, we should be able to write numbers, and we should be able to order numbers. And I promise my handwriting is a lot better than this in real life. I'm just using the Mimeo board, so it's a little hard. So we're going to read, write, and order whole numbers. Through in fifth grade, we have to go all the way through 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999. Wow, big number. The order that you put numbers down does make a difference. So the order of digits. makes a difference. So on your side of the paper, I want you to write down a number. Let's say you write down 82. This 82 means 8 tens and 2 ones, correct? You could, you could have just done the number there. I, I should have just wrote a number. Let me erase that. So eight tens and two ones, which is 80 and two, correct? What happens if I flip flop those numbers? I'm still using the exact same digits, but now I'm doing 28. Is it still eight tens and two ones? No. Now it's two tens and eight ones. So it takes on a whole different value based on its position, which is what place value is. It's all about the position of a number and its value. So now that's actually 20 and 8. So if I gave you a number like, if I gave you the digits 
3, 2, and 9. And I told you to order them so that you make the largest number possible. How would you do that? I want you to try that real quick on your student side. Okay. You should have written, if we did the greatest, 932. Now take those same three digits. The digits aren't changing. And I want you to create the smallest number you can. Go ahead and try that. And this will be on your student side since you're doing it. You should have done 239. That's the smallest you can create with the same three digits. So, once again, going back to this idea, the order of the digits makes a difference in its value. Oops, we're going to just keep it at that pin. In a numbers value. All right. So I'm going to go to this page and I'm going to erase what I had here. I'm going to give you some more notes. Remember, I have limited space when I'm writing. You keep writing on the same page. Don't turn the page and go to another. Make it all fit on that one teacher page. All right. A few more notes to take about this. Zero is super important in place value. And that is the number zero, okay, not the letter O. Because it holds a place, so it's a placeholder. Let me change that. So zero is a placeholder. <clears throat> if I want to write 203, and I know I hear a 2 and I hear a 3 because 200, can I write it like that? No, that's only 23. So instead, I've got to use zero to hold the place of the, the um, value that I don't have. So if I want 203, I have to put 200. Three. See how the zero has held a place so that I can have 203. Another thing to remember is when you're saying a whole number, you don't say and. Because and actually represents the decimal in math. So and means the decimal point. Okay? There are three forms that we use when we're discussing place value. Our first form is called the standard form. It's the normal way we write numbers. So an example would be if I said 2,373, that is standard form. Then I have written form. Standard form is the form we see most everywhere when we look around our dates and our ages and all that kind of stuff. Written form, on the other hand, is when we write it in words. So if I had 23, an example of written form, I would write 20. Three. Most of the time you're only going to see this when you're reading or writing things. Authors have a rule if it's the number 10 or below, then you write it with digits. If it's above that, then you have to use written form. And our last form is expanded form. Expanded form is really not used very often, but it's very important so that you can see the value of each digit. So it helps us see the value of each digit. So let's say I told you the number 331. We would look at each of them and I could say, okay, I know that 3 is worth 300. Let me put a little plus sign. I know that 3 is worth 30. 
and I know that one is worth just one. So this right here, that's a zero, guys. Sorry, I get fast and it looks like an eight. That would be expanded form. And those are the notes that you need for the next quiz, which will be on um, Edmodo. So you just have to finish this up and click on the quiz and take it.